Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I want to thank you all for being here today. Um, before we start, um, Attorney Linda Champion in Boston and her mom and dad donated some wonderful masks. Um, they, they, they're unbelievable. If you need a mask, they're high quality. She donated them. She's a great person. She has no connection to the city of Brockton, but she cares about our community. So they're right there. Take as many as you want. Um, my name is Bob Sullivan, and I'm the mayor of the city of Brockton, and I'm glad you're here today. Today's a gathering of, of Brockton, a unified Brockton, a dedicated community that we all call home. I'm proudly joined uh, today uh, by Mike Thomas, superintendent of schools. But before we go into the speakers, I'm going to respectfully ask everybody, please rise. A moment of silence for Mr. George Floyd, please. Thank you. Our thoughts and prayers go to the Floyd family. The other night, Tuesday night, Dej is here. Wonderful, wonderful event at West Middle School. I still call it West Junior High. It's a reflection of Brockton coming together, coming together as one. Powerful protest, discussion, sharing of ideas and criticisms. And as a Brocktonian and a dad of three, I was proud to be there. And we all know that the night turned in a different way. And as I said yesterday morning, violence and vandalism does not, does not solve the issue. We need to have conversation. And I'm proud to say today, I just sat at the table with three gentlemen that care deeply about the community of Brockton, Mr. John Williams, Kenny Montero, Ross Pina. They care about community because it's their home as well. I said this yesterday, I mean it. I'm a white 50-year-old from the city of Brockton. I happen to be the mayor, and I'm proud to be the mayor. But the fears that Kenny and John and Ross and Kimberly and Deja have felt their lives, I haven't felt it. But I want to listen and learn. To be a good listener is to be an effective leader. But to also recognize and acknowledge that prejudice has happened. They have happened. And what I said the other night, Mr. George Floyd was brutally murdered. He was murdered. And it was caught on camera. And justice will prevail on that. But it's a catalyst for real systemic change. Change that's long overdue. Long overdue, not just in the city, in the Commonwealth, in the country, but worldwide. And it's coming. It's coming. It needs to come. But it needs to come in a peaceful manner, a manner where we come together with respect and we share ideas. And Kenny Ross and John just shared some wonderful ideas with me and Mike Thomas. So I want to thank you for being here. This is what the community is about. White, black, young, old, gay, straight coming together as one to make sure that the city of Brockton is an example not just for those in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, but in the nation. We'll be there with the City of Champions. I want to thank you for being here. God bless you. Mike's going to say something, and then I'm going to let some speakers come. I want to recognize Kimberly Zuzwa, Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority, but a Brocktonian. She bleeds and sweats the city of Brockton and Deja. So she started Tuesday night's civic event. And then when it turned, you know what she did yesterday? She organized a cleanup. That's what Brockton's about. Respecting our community. So again, I, I want to thank the police chief, Manny Gomes, who's been here. I did a Zoom call last night with members in the African-American community. Gwen Knowles is here, and Jackie Jones, her sister, was on the call, and Kimberly was on the call. And now is the time. It's a call to action, but it's peaceful, respectful action. And I want to, again, just thank you, and I want to thank all our, uh, all our men and women that serve the city. But change is coming. And as you may, I'll look you in the eye and say, I want to work with you. I want to work for you because the city is all of us. And everybody up here is a friend of the city of Brockton. Thank you. God bless you. Superintendent, please. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as well as you know, um, the murder of George Floyd shook us to the very core. Um, and me, as superintendent of schools, I have to do a better job serving the families and students of the city of Brockton. I have to do a better job to call out racism, making sure our staff and students have that forum to call out racism, call out indifference and intolerance. Uh, and now you can say, oh, we're going to start and do training and training. It goes beyond training. It goes be well beyond training. It goes to provide those safe spaces for students and staff of color to be able to come forward 
to administrators, to their colleagues, and have the conversation that this is not right. Someone just said something to me that is vile and racist, and I need to call it out, and then it needs to be dealt with, and we have to do that together. Just saying that I'm going to provide training, that doesn't fly. Those opportunities, that those conversations have to happen. It starts with me as a leader, and if you're not ready, ready to lead now, then I need to step down. And if I can't do that, I will step down because it is my job to make the Brockton Public Schools better for everyone, especially the people of color, the students of color, and our staff. And I have to do that. There's no choice, and I have no choice. And I, that's my obligation to the city of Brockton. It's my obligation to the mayor and the school committee, and it's an obligation to the community. So thank you for having me here today, and God bless you all. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, we're going to have a word of prayer, so I'd like to ask everybody to uh, please bow your heads, close your eyes. Before that, I'm sorry, my name is uh, William Wells, uh, the mentor with Champion City Mentor Program, uh, Brockton Public Schools, and um, I just want to say I'm proud of what the youth were doing yesterday. It showed real character, real integrity, and it was a, a big first step in what we need to do in the city. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you, first of all, for your peace for your understanding that is to come, Lord God. We thank you for progress. We thank you for change in this city. Those of us who are working together, Lord God, to make a difference, to make this place better for minorities, Lord God. We are thankful, Lord God, for everything that happened on yesterday, Lord God, that voices were heard, Lord God, that strength took place, Lord God, that you covered each and every single person there. Everyone got home safe, Lord God. We're thankful, Lord God, for this day that we can continue, Lord God, to know that you have the victory, you have the final say, Lord God, you have the final blessing and praise, Lord God, no matter what we do, no matter what we go through, Lord God, no matter what we experience, we know that we can always um, count on you, Lord God. So we pray, Lord God, that progressive change will continue to take place within this city, its people, and it's officials, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Peace. <clears throat> I want to first <clears throat> I want to first say I'm I'm proud of my city. <clears throat> I'm really proud of my city. I'm proud of Deja. I'm proud of the young lady uh, Versace who organized the peaceful protest yesterday as well. That was two days of peaceful protesting with a little bit of knucklehead uh, activity in between. I just want <clears throat> to, my voice is gone. I just, <laughs> I just want to say, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you to the people who came out to make a difference. But, but protesting, is not enough. That's not what we're looking for in Brockton. Brockton's a special place of diversity where we can actually set precedence for the country. We just had two peaceful protests here in the city and they're getting more peaceful. But we had those protests for a reason. Those reasons are the pain, the hurt that is experienced in the black community. Here in Brockton as a resident that grew up in here as a black man, I grew up right up the street on the east side. I've had my run-ins with the police department here in Brockton. I've been beat up by the police department. I've been harassed by the police department. I've been unjustly pulled over by the police department here in Brockton. I also have some positive connections with the police department in Brockton. But we have to understand it goes far beyond this. We have to change policy. And when we just sat <clears throat> with the mayor, the superintendent of schools, and their staff, that's all we discussed. Changing policy, setting up civil police review boards so the people can oversee what's happening in our community. We gotta get active. One thing that I haven't heard from the police department Standing here next to Chief Gomes, I haven't heard a statement. I haven't heard a statement that says as the leader of our police department, whether you agree with the actions of the man, the murderer, he's not a police officer, he's not a cop. The murderer that murdered George Floyd, or do you stand with 
the people who agree that the culture of, blood, of the police department must change. You have people standing out here, you have young people, young people standing out here willing to risk their lives because they realize things need to change. We need to know that you're with us. We need to know that this is a collaborative effort. I've seen a lot of young people out here. I want to give a shout out to Bradley Soufran, who, who, who called out a lot of the, the older generation, myself included, to come out to the front lines and bring our knowledge, bring our experience, and help protect our young people. And we did that with the help of, of Will, um, the leadership of Kenny Montero. This is not, in Brockton, this is not something that's happening by coincidence. This is an intelligent movement that has been going on for years. This is not a reaction to George Floyd. This is something that myself personally, I've been working with Superintendent Thomas. I was working with the mayor, Bob Sullivan, before he was the mayor. We were working with individuals on the police department. I see Nicole Anderson over there who works as a school resource officer. Anytime she sees a young man that is in need, she calls me. She doesn't call the police department and say, watch this young man, we're gonna arrest him. She calls me and see what we can do, what plan we can set in place to help that young man to succeed. I have some young men out here that have been through my program that have succeeded, that I saw out there on the front lines helping to keep the peace. We have Ollie Spears, who is forever in this community, been a figure, been a face, been someone that's always answered the call and been out there on the front lines working in collaboration with the city to try to bring about positive change. We have Jackie Jones, who, along with her sister Gwen Niles, who have been there for black men in this community like no one else. If it wasn't for them, I don't know where I would be as a leader in this community. Our black women have stood up for our black men. Now I'm putting the all, I'm putting the, <clears throat> I'm putting the all call out there. I'm putting the all call out there. We have an organization in this community full of black men who are standing up. The Nubie Rateaus, the Mario Lamars, all led, the Ross the Penis, the William Wells, the Robert Badgets, the Raymond Turners in this community, the Bradley Souffrants, all under the leadership of Kenny Montero. Join us. We don't need a protest anymore. We don't need to ask anymore. What we need to do is stand up and claim what's ours. We have leadership. <clears throat> we have leadership in our community now that isn't willing to sit down at the table. They're at the table. We're sitting down right now creating real change. And it happened because you young people you young people, you young people came out here and you literally put your lives on the line. You put your lives on the line when it was uncomfortable. You put your lives on the line when everybody told you not to. When everyone told you to go home, you stood on the front line peacefully and you created a change. Yes. That's what they're looking to do worldwide. And you showed them how to do it here in Brockton, Mass. So follow through. Don't go away. We don't need to be in front of the police department anymore. We need to be in front of here. We need to be sitting down at the tables. Contact us. We have leadership. 
contact our leadership so that they can sit down at the table with the leadership of this community and we can create real change. That's what it's about. It's not about getting tear gassed and shot with bullets. It's not about being on social media, getting likes. It's not about who can bring as many people to their lives as possible. It's about creating change. I saw this man on the front line chanting. I saw this man getting the emotion of the community riled up so that we can create change. This young man, Mr. Zuzwai, coached his older brother. I saw the pain in this young man's eyes. He's a D1 football player at Baylor University from Brockton, Massachusetts. And he stood out here and poured out his pain. He could be at home training right now, getting ready to go back, but he wants to fight. He wants to stand up. He knows he can't go back to college and play basketball knowing that his friends are suffering right here at home. Yes, sir. He's willing to stand up and fight and he asked, what can I do? He was willing to go the length. He was willing to stand in the face of the police and face bullets if need be. We don't have to ask, why are they doing this crazy stuff? We need to ask, what causes a man, a young man, who has everything already to put that on the line? What psychology causes that to exist? That's pain, that's hurt, that's frustration, and it needs to stop. And the only way it's gonna stop is if we come together and we connect as people. We connect. Brockton's a special place. In New York, you got the Jewish community, the Italian community, you got all those communities. You have that in a bunch of places. In Brockton, you have Brockton. You got the east side, you got the west side, but we're all Brockton. I grew up right up the street from Mike Thomas. I grew up across the town from Bob Sullivan. I grew up up the street from Rob Badgett and Will. I grew up around the corner and went to school with Nicole. Me and Jensen went to the same church. Me and Ollie grew up right up the street opposite housing developments. That's what Brockton is. Me and my wife grew up up the street from one another. That's what Brockton is. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's get real. We want to create change, do it. Do it. You want to change something, mentor somebody. If you're a grown man, if you're a father, be there for your son. If you're not in your son's life, get in it. Trust and believe. He's open to it. He wants you there. No matter how much his pain pushes you away, he wants you there. Do you have the balls to be there? Are you man enough to be there? Are you man enough to take one of these young people that have the passion to change their community and say, young man, come here. Young man, come here. Young man, come here. Come here. Come here. Paul, come here. Come on, bro. My boys, here. Anyone that's ever been in my program, here. Whether you've worked for my program as a staff member or you've been in it as a student, I need you here right now. If you 
support what we are doing. I need you here right now. Pull up, please. All love, come on. I don't care if you have on a uniform. I don't care if you have on pajama pants. I need you here right now. Anyone that can pan out and take this picture. John said, can you take this picture for us? Thank what you, you saw the other night is not Brockton. That's, right, John. That's people that came from outside here. I know I was there that incited some of our young people to bring out the ugliest side of Brockton. This is Brockton. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is Brockton. Every color, every ethnicity, every demographic, every race, every religion, every creed. Our police officers stand with us. Yes. They're standing with us right now. If you doubt it, look at this picture. Our mayor stands with us. Yes. He's right here. Yes, sir. Our superintendent of schools stands with us. Yes. He's right here. Yes. If you haven't heard it before, you're gonna hear it right now. Our chief of police. Thank you so much for everyone being here. Some of you that weren't here at the prayer vigil that Monday. we had here Monday, um, I'm the first one to say that sometimes I'm not the most spiritual man, but I was moved. I was really moved. And on that day, first time that I spoke publicly about it, about myself and the great men and women that I have, I called it nothing less than murder. I was here, I did it, in the way my, my offices have been addressed that way, they know it. You have a great police department. You have men and women that I absolutely love, and they love this city. There isn't any officer over there that hasn't been moved by the horrendous actions that we saw. There isn't any police officer that I know, even in other communities, because I've obviously this has been some trying times and we've all been communicating. No one has used the word that was not murder. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. We're in it. We saw it. That film speaks for itself. It's horrendous, it's outrageous, it's egregious, it's murder. And I want you to hear it from me, and that's the way we stand, and that's where my men and women stand. Thank you. This is Brockton, huh? This is Brockton. Brockton, 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 One thing I want to say is, we're called the City of Champions. This is the champions right here. We can talk about Hagler, Marciano, Brockton football. The people are the champions. What John just spoke, that was from the heart. That was from the heart. Brockton has heart. We're together. One Brockton. We're together. Thank you. God bless you all. Get everybody to do it? Yeah. Real quick, what, what mic is on, man? I don't even know what mic is on. Just speak up. Just speak up. I just want to know if everybody here, for a couple of seconds, if we could all in solidarity take a knee and respect to the lives that we've lost, please, and thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks. What up, man? Everybody take
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, I just want to thank each and every one of you for being here. This is it. This is it. This is the start of some good things in the city of Brockton. God bless you all. Have a good day. Please take a mask. Thank you. Thank you.